All right, guys, we're doing a song by the Carpenters today called I Wouldn't Last a Day Without You. And it sounds like this. the song. Those of you who know it will really recognize it. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. Uh, I'll put the free part one on YouTube. The rest of it's on my website, webpianoteacher.com, with thousands and thousands of other videos of uh, piano lessons on my whiteboard, teaching you to play by ear. Okay, so I just put the free part one on YouTube to, to give you a taste. <clears throat> But uh, if you'd rather learn how to read music, um, just you know, you're just into learning how to read music. That's going to be my other site, which is called SeanCheek.com, and on there there's sight reading lessons. There's a lot of classical lessons on uh, you know classical music, how to read music. So if you're into that, some of you just want to play by ear. So that's uh, why you use the whiteboard. If you'd rather have DVDs. Uh, SeanCheekBlog.com is the place to get info there. If you'd rather have custom DVDs of, of just the lessons you want, um, you can also get my sight reading boot camp DVDs, which are the sight, some of the sight reading lessons that are on SeanCheek.com. Um, Facebook and Twitter, search for me as Web Piano Teacher on there if you would like updates, see what I'm up to. Uh, just do a, search, a Facebook or Twitter search for Web Piano Teacher. Anyway, let's get going with this. Um, intro here and we're, we're in the key of D. We're going to start in the right hand with a D, F sharp, A, D. Full D chord for one count. And then we're going to do F sharp and A together. And then we're going to D and, do D and F sharp together. And it's one, two, and. Then we're going to go up higher and do F sharp, A, C sharp, E. F sharp, A, C sharp, E. Then we're going to do D, A, D together, and then just that D on the thumb again. So the rhythm is one, two, and three, four, and. Let's do that again. One, two, and three, four, and. Okay? The left hand's on a, D, a lower D and then an A below middle C, D and A. And then we're going to go to F sharp and C sharp right here. Underneath the correct chord there. So what we have for this first box is one, two, and three, four, and. Now of course you can always play the left hand a little more if you want to. Okay, in fact that's how a lot of pianists will, will vamp and you need to learn how to do that eventually. It's kind of like strumming on a guitar. You're on one chord but you just keep strumming the same thing and it's, it's kind of like um, on the piano when you keep that left hand going. Feel free to give that a try if you never have. Okay, I try to keep things not too cluttered on the whiteboard because that's the, the beauty of it is the simplicity. So uh, sometimes I'll just write write at one time. But left hand or right hand here is D G B. We go to a G chord. All right, for one count, and then we're going to come down a little bit and do D and B together, and then just the B again for the hand of two. So it's one. We're going to do D and A together, and then a G, and then E, A, C sharp, so we're down low now, and then just the E again on the thumb. So the rhythm is one, two, and three, and four, and. Now, the uh, main notes to accent are the D and the A here, and then the E, A, C sharp. Because you want to hear la, la, the, the other notes are just fill in. One, two, and la, la. Hear that? So bring out this and that. One, two, and la. Now the left hand has a G and a B here. And yes, you have to get your left hand out of the way so the right hand can play this. And then you go down a little bit to A and E. And then here we'll just do an A octave. Low. 
yes, you have to get your left hand out of the way again here so the right hand can play that same E. Okay, so the rhythm here on the second box is one, two, and three, and four, and again. Let's do both boxes together. Ready and go. Alright, and of course the second time, and see two times. So you do these two boxes two times. Um, the second time they're doing the oohs. And then she starts singing here. Uh, so it's going to be, so the, the piano is just chording along. And something funny, the piano really gets cut down in volume when the vocal comes in there. Too much in my opinion, but <clears throat> A, D, F sharp in the right hand and the left hand of D octave. Let's do the chords first and then we'll learn how to, to, to play them. Because you don't always go. Ba, 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 da, na, 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 you want to you know, put some rhythm to them. But let's get the chords first and then we'll put some rhythm to them. A, D, F sharp. Left hand on a D octave. A, F, D. See, let me see how many counts. Two, one, two counts on each. One, two, one, two. So this is A, C sharp, E. Left hand's on an F sharp octave. So two counts on that. One, two, one, two. Now I'll put a G in there because. You want to mix a G in there with it because it's a it's a G chord. Um, a A B D. You can hear the the right hand putting a G in there sometimes. One and two. And, so that's why I put a G in parenthesis because the G's in there a little bit. The left hand's on a G octave. So one and two and like that. This is going to be B, C sharp, E, left hand on A octave. It's the same thing, you throw an A in there, one and two and... That's a common thing to do in piano accompaniment. Okay, so let, let's do what we have this far. So if we start right here, the simplest thing to do if you're a beginner is to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. If you're a little, want to advance a little more, that second eighth note. One. And what I'll do is I'll play my thumbs. One and two and sometimes I'll do the left hand thumb. One and two and one. So it just adds that upbeat in there. And you don't want to play the thumbs too loudly. Okay? Don't make it real plotty, methodical, but one, two, and one, two, and one, two, and one, two, and one, two. Here we have B, D, F sharp, and then we have C sharp, D, F sharp. Okay, left hand's on a B octave. One, two, that's a suspension there, that sounds kind of cool. C sharp, D, F sharp, and then A and C sharp together. So one, two, three, four. But don't just play the left hand one time, keep it going. One, two, so I keep it, keep my thumb going a little bit. Now let's do the whole, this whole section starting with the vocal lines charts, okay? Ready and go. And day after day. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 So here we have G, B, D. Two times, two counts. One, two, and then we have it again. And then we have A, C sharp, E. Left hand's on an E octave here. And then down to an A octave. There. So it's one, two, ba, ba, like that. Okay? Well, let's do the whole thing. The board's not that long. It's for your free part one. And I do finish uh, this song on the website. So I'll see you on the website. <clears throat> it does work on iPad and iPhone and, and uh, mobile devices. So it used to not. It used to be Flash based. So now we're HTML5. It'll work on, on anything. All right, here we go. Beginning, ready, and go.
you guys enjoy it.